honey, no. What kind of mother do you think I am? <laughs> Why do you want a little bit? Because if you're going to drink, I'd rather you do it in the house. No, thank you. So, you guys, what is the 411? What has everybody been up to? What is the hot gossip? Tell me everything. What are you guys listening to? What's the cool jams? Mom, <laughs> could you go fix your hair? OK. You girls keep me young. Oh, I love you so much. <gasps> oh my god, I remember this. Ugh, I haven't looked at that in forever. Here, check it out, Katie. It's our burn book. So we cut out girls' pictures from the yearbook, and then we wrote comments. Trang Pack is a grusky little biatch. Still true. Don Schweitzer is a fat virgin. Still half true. <laughs> Amber D'Alessio, she made out with a hot dog. Janice Ian Dyke. Who is that? I think that's that kid Damien. Yeah, he's almost too gay to function. <laughs> that's funny. Put that in there. <laughs> oh no. Maybe that was only okay when Janice said it. And they have this book, this burn book, where they write mean things about all the girls in our grade. What does it say about me? You're not in it. Those bitches. Will this minimize my pores? No. Caddy, you gotta steal that book. No way! Oh, come on, we could publish it and then everybody would see what an axe wound she really is! I don't steal. <gasps> that is for your feet. Caddy, there are two kinds of evil people. People who do evil stuff and people who see evil stuff being done and don't try to stop it. Does that mean I'm morally obligated to burn that lady's outfit? Oh my god, that's Miss Norbury. Oh, I love seeing teachers outside of school. It's like seeing a dog walk on his hind legs. Oh, hey guys, what's up? I didn't know you worked here. Yeah, moderately priced soaps are my calling. You shopping? No, no, I'm just here with my boyfriend. Joking. Sometimes older people make jokes. My Nana takes her wig off when she's drunk. Your Nana and I have that in common. No, uh, actually, I'm just here because I bartend a couple nights a week down at PJ Calamities. <laughs> Katie, I hope you do join Mathletes, you know, because uh, we start in a couple weeks, and I would love to have a girl on the team, just, you know, so the team could meet a girl. I think I'm going to do it. Great. You can't join Mathletes. It's social suicide. Thanks, Damien. Well, this has been sufficiently awkward, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Oh, man, that is bleak. So, when are you going to see Regina again? I can't spy on her anymore. It's weird. Come on, she's never going to find out. It's just, it'll be like our little secret. Hello? I know your secret. Oh, God, busted. Just start apologizing and crying. No, play it cool. Secret? What are you saying about? Gretchen told me that you like Aaron Samuels. I mean, I don't care. Do whatever you want. But let me just tell you something about Aaron. All he cares about is school, and his mom, and his friends. Is that bad? But if you like him, whatever. I mean, I could talk to him for you if you want. Really? You would do that? I mean, nothing embarrassing though, right? Oh no, trust me. I know exactly how to play it. But wait, aren't you so mad at Gretchen for telling me? No. Because if you are, you can tell me. It was a really bitchy thing for her to do. Yeah, it was pretty bitchy, but uh, I'm not mad. I mean, I guess she just likes the attention. See, Gretch, I told you she's not mad at you. I can't believe you think I like attention. OK, love ya. See you tomorrow. I had survived my first three-way calling attack. And with Regina's blessing, I started talking to Aaron more and more. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's October 3rd. Two weeks later, we spoke again. It's raining. Yeah. But I wanted things to move faster. So I followed my instincts. Hey, um, I'm totally lost. Can you help me? But I wasn't lost. Yeah. I knew exactly what Miss Norbury was talking about. It's a factorial, so you multiply each one by n. Wrong. Is that the summation? Yeah, the same thing. Wrong. You were so wrong. Thanks. I, uh, I get it now. <laughs> We're having a Halloween party at my friend Chris's tonight. You want to come? Yeah, sure. Great. Here's where it is. It's a costume party. People get pretty into it. OK. That flyer admits one person only, so don't bring some other guy with you. Cool. I meant to say cool, and then I started to say great. Right. Well, cool. <laughs>